Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the Bad Stalks with show and today my guest is Hicken. Welcome to the show, how are you? Hey, thanks for having me, awesome to be here, finally, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, finally it is. Yep. Because we made appointment, appointments for about a few weeks now, I think. I, th I think you should say probably a month now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll make it worth your well. <laughs> yeah, one of my sentences were, uh, before we go to the question, I want to thank you for joining and be my first guest. But that's not true anymore. <laughs> yeah. Sadly, I know. You're now number four now. Yeah, yeah. Number four. But I got a lot of whispers and motivation that we had to do an interview. I had to do an interview with you. So, yeah. yeah well, I only hope that I will live up to the expectations of everyone, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's a lot of pressure now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah, let's uh, let's start with a small personal summary. Your wow name. My wow name is Hikan. Class. A mighty death knight. Spec. Frost. And where are you from? I am from Greece. Way. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> we all love Greece, especially Greece. especially yeah. the weather. Oh yeah. I give you two options. Uh, you have to choose one. Awesome. So here we go. Death knight or warrior. Death Knight, mate, come on. <laughs> Frost <laughs> or Unholy? Frost. Two or one-handers? Ah, that's a tricky one. That is a tricky one, I'll tell you that. Um, do I have to choose? Do I have to pick, like, one? Yeah. Mm, okay, then Then I'll go for the two-hander. Two-hander. Yeah. Swords or axes? Swords. Alliance or Horde? <sighs> Alliance for the win, mate. Mounts Life. or pets? Mounts, I think. Yeah. Progress or achievements? Progress. Solo or group content? Uh, group content. Garrosh or Lich King? Oh, wow. Um, for sentimental reasons, I'd say Lich King. Lich King. Yeah. The very few where you had to think about a few seconds and there were some who were like oh yeah that's uh, logic mm -hmm. uh, and yeah. you said dk instead of warrior yep maybe you can explain it to our uh, viewers sure. so if someone wants to actually look uh, at my affiliation with the dk's one must look back at the days of uh, warcraft 3 uh you know the, this strategy game uh, from Blizzard Entertainment that uh, World of Warcraft is actually based on. This is not a commercial uh, know, <laughs> advertisement you know, but, uh, for Blizzard. <laughs> you know, there are actually a few kids out there, so I think uh, they might yeah. not know that. Okay, yeah. <laughs> and, you know, as the story progresses and you see, like, Garthos becoming a Death Knight is cool, awesome, like, he cast warrior. He's not a warrior anyway. He's a Death Knight. And I fell in love with the Death Knights. And. That's how it started. Then I actually rolled the Death Knight in uh, the start of Wrath of the Lich King back in 2008. That's a long time ago right now. And I fell in love with him, you know. It was perfect. That, it was everything I had expected. Like this dark character, you know, um, having all these um, dark powers, mm -hmm. his possession and what, what, what now. And I know I'm, I sound like a geek right now, but <laughs> you know, I but find it awesome. Did you always have that with dark characters, right? Uh, Is it the, was no, it the first really. time? No, not really. But I do like I do like like uh, shady personalities in my games so or whatever. How you, however you want to uh, accept that. Yeah. I mean, I was always for the melee, right? There's no there's no uh, changing that. I mean, I I love being in front of someone's face and kicking his butt. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. And I just think that I I love the Death Knight. I love. Their personality, I love how they look, uh, their style of play, I love everything about them. You, so, yeah. You're really a DK geek. Oh, yeah. Next yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Frost and Holy, you said Frost? Yep. Again, that's also because of that artist feeling, you know, and DK feeling, because um, it's more frosty, in my opinion, in the beginning, yeah. especially in Wrath. The thing is that, right? And for the oldies that have played uh, from Wrath of the Lich King or before, uh, know that. The DPS spec for Death Knights was actually blood back in the day. Uh, and I was always like a DPS in my WoW time. Uh, I've only recently, like the last year, been tanking as an off spec. And 
because I started with Blood uh, when I started my uh, days with Death Knight, I wanted to continue um, as a DPS, stay a DPS. And because I didn't knew Unholy and Frost seemed way, way more. Um, how should I put this? Um, easier? Yeah. While also more fun, you know. And it's awesome to see. Maybe uh, it, it, it made more sense. It, it was more for me. Yeah, yeah. Yes. I think it was closer to the death night feeling. DPS, I remember. Yes, because I love like seeing pff, freaking crits going high and higher each time <laughs> I smash someone. While you know, unholy is a bit different like that. You know. Yeah, that's that's also so, more yeah. with your pet, right? With with the car and. Yeah, 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 yeah. Unholy stuff. I don't know those guys. <laughs> You had to think about the two one-hander one, and you chose uh, two-handers? Yeah, well the thing is, um, I've always had a uh, two-handed uh, weapon for my character, but lately I've, I've been uh, dual-wielding, Yeah. And because apparently dual-wielding is actually very very good for Death Knights, uh, this patch around, and it actually is, it does a lot of damage uh, as well, mm -hmm. but I love the feeling of seeing like a one million crit with a two-hander, you know, <laughs> smashing someone's face in, you know, it's still awesome. So, yeah. So, uh, when you should have played, uh, like, a Warlock, you always go for destruction for the million crits with Chaos uh, Ball. Yeah, I bet, sure. Then, also, uh, then yeah. Affliction or something with those dots, so, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, and, uh, that's, that's cool. But yeah, Sword and Axes, you chose Sword, and I'm fine with that. Alliance Horde, you chose Alliance. You don't, oh, you yeah. don't have any Horde feelings? Did not did you play uh, in a horde even? Or? Well, I mean, I do like the horde, right? And uh, how they came to be, and this is again geek talk, but I don't care anyway. Uh, <laughs> I love how the horde actually came to be and what they represent. This union of, you know, uh, people from all around that have been through many many things and whatnot. But I'm an alliance fanboy, you know. I, I love the alliance. You're blue. Every You're blue. I'm blue in my heart. Yeah, true. <laughs> and where does that come from then? That alliance feeling. Well, I think um, although the the horde appeals to a certain um, amount amount of players in in World of Warcraft, like because of their you know like brutality and um, you know honor first and you know spikes and everything. Yeah. I am more for the like. The elegant yeah the smooth the smooth school yeah i couldn't i couldn't say it better than that thank you <laughs> yeah yeah well that, that that's the same feeling i always have with the alliance yeah. Yeah. yeah it's alliance i mean and you have like so many heroes for the for, for the alliance if you know the alliance lore and i'm a huge lore geek and yeah how can you not love them they're awesome yeah so, so cool mm. and we have one of the best leaders right uh yeah, I do love how Varian actually is uh, turning around to be a great leader for the Alliance at this point. Yeah. Um, he had to. He had some anger management issues, but <laughs> <laughs> he came through. Ah, uh, just, just just a small bit, right? Just a just just small, small bit. bit. Yeah. yeah. We just conquer on the city, like yeah, well, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah that's normal, you know. That's yeah. normal. <laughs> do you miss? Did you did that quest in on the city? Uh yes, yes, my God. That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah, it was awesome. Like seeing the Wrath Gate and then going to the Undercity, it was amazing. I feel sorry for the newbies in WoW that will never get to see that quest. It was really, really nice. And I actually did the Wrath Gate quests uh, quite recently in an alt I level. Yeah. And it was sad to see that they had actually removed the quest. Uh, it's not there anymore. So, yeah. But still, it was an awesome quest. Yeah. yeah. Mounts or pets? You, you chose the mounts? Yes, I did. And I'm not into I'm not into pet battles that much, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, although you know, because we haven't seen new content for almost a year now, I'm almost losing my sanity and thinking about <laughs> going doing battle pets or whatever. <laughs> and yeah, well, I don't know. But I'm more into mounts, especially hard-earned mounts. You know, like uh, the mount you get from raids and whatnot, like. The heroic the kills or uh, yeah, the, like the Corcoran Wolf when you get when you kill Garrosh. That's that's a pretty nice uh, mount, you know. Yeah, it's it's for you. It's like uh, status, you know, the, the status mounts. You know, I got this mount because I achieved something really good. Yeah, big, yeah, uh, true. And yeah. 
apart from that, like I, I, I love the mounts that you actually have to work for. Uh, like Invincibles range from Arthur's, I still haven't get that. But I, yeah. I know, I love how the, like each mount has. How should I say this? Like its own its own feeling, I guess. Yeah. Like, because you know. It's also the. Knight. Yeah. Sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. For for the Death Knight, I go for the Grimson Je Death Charger, which is like you are a Death Knight. You're supposed to have a Grimson De Death Charger. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Yeah. One of what yeah. what I want to say is that the 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 mounts have their own uh, story a bit. How sure, do how yeah. do you got them and you, what 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 was in your thoughts that that moment you got it? You know, mm -hmm. that's also a feeling with mounts. Yeah. And it's not like I'm, a, I'm after like uh, some other people trying to collect as many mounts as I, I can because you know, like I do, cool thing to do. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, you know, I am not after that. I'm mean, just, I just like having certain mounts in my um, arsenal mounts journal. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's really nice. You know, yeah. well, so there's that. That 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 also makes sense why you chose progress instead of achievements because you, yeah. you you are the status guy of that moment, so you you want to do that. Uh, yeah, and that also mean, mean, means for group content, I, think, I guess then. Yeah, yeah, kind of, yeah. But you chose the Lich King instead of Garrosh. Um, A lot of people do that, by the way. But. Yeah, well, I mean, it's the Lich King. <laughs> and you're a Death Knight. Yeah, it's Arthas, it's, it's amazing. <laughs> he's, like, his character development throughout the years was just amazing, you know? And it has so much, so many things in the background. The Lich King story, right? Yeah. Which is just, you know, like that moment when you actually get to kill Arthas. Spoilers, by the way, if you haven't. <laughs> <laughs> He's dead for years now. Yeah. Uh, th that moment, you, you know, you get to kill Arthas and stuff. I lost, and... a, lo I lost a lot of subs now, right? So, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I should have put a spoiler disclaimer. You know? yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, the moment you get to kill him and he actually says, like, uh, uh, I stand alone, uh, like a lion among sheep or whatever. That's that's pretty awesome. But they do not fear and stuff like that. It's it's pretty nice. It's a pretty awesome moment. So yeah. Plus it was like uh, his raid, Ice Crown Citadel, was like the first raid I ever go got to see uh, while playing World of Warcraft. Yeah, in um in a progression uh, kind of level. Yeah. With the guild I was back then. So yeah. It's pretty pretty sentimental for me. And did you like ICC more than uh, than uh, Oquimor now? Um, I, I didn't get to see ICC that much as much as I have seen Orgrimmar, which is I don't even want to count <laughs> how many times I've seen freaking Orgrimmar at this point. Uh, um, but I'd say that because of the background and the lore of the place, I'd say yes, yeah. absolutely. Not to say that Siege of Ogrima is actually like a pff, whatever raid, you know, just disgusting or you or any of that. No, Siege of Ogrima is, is a very, very good raid, in my opinion. And if you've actually got to kill Garrosh Heroic, then pff, you're a pretty good player, trust me. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Especially when it just came out. The yeah. First, uh, the first guilds. Yeah, that's, that's, um, that's amazing. If if you compare them, it uh, it's a bit the same. You go to a place because they did the bad stuff and just conquer the whole thing where they were. <laughs> yeah, yeah, true. But you know, uh, like Siege of Orgrimmar has this background of spikes, progress, and stuff like that. It's not the same for me. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. Well, th those were the two option questions. Mm -hmm. So we now go to some other questions, um, yeah. and the first one of them is: When did you, did you start playing WoW? Oh, uh, wow! I started playing WoW in. Let me, let me think. You can also name the expansion. You don't have to say. September two thousand and seven. Okay. I started playing WoW. And that was yeah. Burning Crusade. The, the Burning Crusade, yes, and like. Okay, I was actually. I was always a gamer, right? not a hardcore gamer, but I always gamed on my PC. Yeah. And I loved role-playing games, right? Mm -hmm. But for me, uh, the massive multiplayer online uh, role-playing element was unknown at the time. 
like I've seen Lineage and friends of mine were playing Lineage back then, which was a huge thing if you remember back then. And coming into WoW, like and getting my God, I remember the starting area. Ah, oh, I fell in love with it. Like the hu the human starting area. Do you remember that bad scene? Yeah. The first feeling you got when you actually saw the the human starting area, and with the quests, you know, actually having a build up to. Uh, leaving um, Northshire, Northshire, and actually going into Goldshire, and you know yeah. those guys sent me to do that stuff and kobolds and stuff like that. It was amazing. It was an amazing feeling. Yeah. Plus, you know, you know how your like noob months go uh, in, the, in the beginning of <laughs> when, you, when you play. Wow! And it was I have some of the funniest memories back then. It was pretty amazing. Can you can you can you tell some of those? Sure, yeah. Uh, we tried uh, with a couple of friends, we tried to three man um, stockades. That was pretty fun. Okay. Um, yeah, I was actually supposed to be their tank. I didn't know what the tank was back then. And uh, pretty much all I did was just spam heroic strike all the time. <laughs> um, yeah, pretty fun. Um, people were dying left and right. Like, hold aggro, what's that? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're dead, right? Those mobs. <laughs> yeah. They're dead. Uh, you know what? If you can't stay alive, you know, don't play me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was it was those occasions, and then like I remember, Jesus, I remember the first time I went into Stranglethorn. <sighs> oh. My God, I've never rage quit in my life <laughs> like I did that day. Oh, it, it, it was it was amazing. Like just walking there, like the freaking noob, you know, like dancing and jumping all the way down to Stranglethorn. Like whatever. Wow, a new place to discover, ganked. <laughs> like and you see and you think like okay you know maybe these guys will actually gank me once and then like leave nope nope that wasn't the case no no and i was in a pvp uh server so good luck with that <laughs> yeah Same i've way. been ganked i've been ganked in my wild days way too many times trust me <laughs> <laughs> i still remember do you believe i still remember like the name of uh do, do you still know that name yeah yeah what was the name? The I wait, wait, wait. I let me tell you what happened. I remember the the name the guy, the name of the guy that actually ganked me so many damn times in Borean Tundra when I, when I was leveling <laughs> my death knight back in 2008. His name is Who's the Cat? I still remember the freaking name. Who's the Cat? He was, yes, he was ganking me for over an hour, <laughs> and I and I couldn't do shit. Okay, I couldn't do shit. It was pretty bad. So, anyway, I don't want to remember. So that. when when no. cat, when Catfuel and uh, the cat joined the cult, you weren't suspicious. Nah. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. I've grown up now. I can uh, be content you with can, other people. You can gank them, yeah. them back, but yeah, you but you but, but you're now on the normal server. Yeah. No I no that. no ganking allowed. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty bad back then. Plus, I was in the alliance side on that server, and we were like. The percentage was like 80% horde, 20% alliance. <laughs> oh so, yeah. Like, what, what, what was the server name? Um, wow, my Wait. server's name was Korgal. Okay. Um, it's a pretty small server. Uh, I think they've actually, you know, with the cross realm technology now, they, it, it got a bit bigger, but it's still pretty empty. Oh. And before that, my first ever tune was on the Vegurpo. And can you guess what class it was? Oh yeah. Yep. Well, you said, you, well, that's not fun of me, because you said already heroic strike. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because, you know, I actually only wanted to get to level 55 and uh, create my um, death knight. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Mm. Um, can you tell us about previous guilds you were in? Oh, uh, wow. Um, like throughout the years yeah well, yeah which you can still remember okay well I was always um, part of social guild um, I tried doing some raiding back in the day because um, I really love uh, raiding and the progression and you know that anxiety you get just seconds before the boss hits berserk timer and you actually get the kill and that's an awesome and amazing feeling and anyone who hasn't felt that they're missing out trust me they're missing out you know what i'm talking about patsy yeah i know it yeah yeah it's, it's amazing and but yeah i was always i was always in a social guild and 
Oh, you still there? Hello. Okay. Hi. I I heard social guilt, so then you were gone. Oh, sorry. Can you hear me now? <laughs> yeah, I can hear you now. You will edit this part, huh? <laughs> okay, yeah, whatever. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, I was in social guilt most of the time, um, running around like an idiot or whatever. But the only guilt I remember, um, was in my old server, um, four years ago, exactly four years ago. I do not remember their name. They were also Dutch, by the way. Um, uh oh. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what's up with me and the Dutchies. Like, I love you guys too much. <laughs> yeah. And we actually, it was the guild that actually uh, got to raid and got me into ICC for the first time. And I do not remember their name and what the guild name was, but they were pretty awesome guys. And that's like the only guilds I have memories of. Uh, apart from uh, the order right now mm -hmm. and it was pretty amazing for me then when I changed um, sides I also joined like a mega guild my old server when I was Horde and that was just like a factory of people you, you didn't know anyone over there it was just like <laughs> just too 50 big. people online all the time yeah too big. too big anyway so that's that okay and uh, did, uh, did you uh, got got any friends in these guilds? Um, well, I mean, I always um, was very, very uh, open with uh, talking to people uh, throughout my WoW years. And most of them have not stick around, you know. They've actually either dropped or I never got to get their battle tag or whatever. And not so many people from my past, you know. I just, I remember like one guy, he was from... There you go again. Yeah, we used to hang out a lot. But where, where, where was she from? <laughs> Bulgaria. Bulgaria. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and we used to hang out a lot, but he's not around anymore, I guess. Okay. So, so yeah. Yeah, you didn't have battle tech, eh? That, that yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Especially if you change to all the girl to all the servers and such, then yeah, mm, it's yeah. really difficult. I still have a friend from my uh, old server. He was actually. Uh, with me when I moved to Silvermoon, and he's from Norway. Okay. And we still we still have good ties. Like we speak and everything. Ah, okay, that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool yeah. Which girl is he now then? Ah, uh, he's not playing at the moment. That's oh, seriously. okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. That's that's cool. Mm -hmm. Um, which uh, raids did you like in uh, in all your WoW years? Okay. Um, uh, the thing is, right. I started from a private server uh, back in 2007 um, because none of us actually wanted to pay for WoW at that time. Yeah. Um, me and my friends, I mean. And I actually got the first raid I actually ever got to see was Gruul's Lair, right? Gruul's Lair, yeah. Yeah, it was, it was something else. Trust me. I mean, like seeing the whole ceiling drop on your head <laughs> and like panicking and saying, "What the hell am I doing here?" <laughs> <laughs> and everyone like swearing at you or whatever that was pretty good and then I would say Gruul Slayer um, Black Temple I also got to see a bit um, okay then what else um, I, Ulduar of course Ulduar Ulduar yeah um, ICC and um, what should I say um, I think I'd go for for um of Pandaria after that, I, because in Cataclysm I didn't go to raid at all. Okay. So yeah, it was that. Uh, which uh, which which uh, encounters did you? Which bosses did you really like? Like favorite boss or some of my favorite bosses? Uh, what you want? Your favorite and some other favorites. That's fine. Uh, okay, my favorite boss. Um, the well, I think it's Arthas. I think it's the King. The my Lisking. favorite boss ever. Yeah, but some of my. Uh, favorite bosses ever in my wow days was um i'd say mm, let me think i i think it will be like gru is one and then mm, illidan was also very cool although it was a private server so half his tactics were not actually being applied yeah and um also maligos was an excellent boss i liked it um and apart from that, I think Garrosh is a pretty 
fun fight and it takes skill to actually come through with it and um, I can't think of anything else at the moment to be honest okay I, gr oh, yeah. I grew also because it was your fir one of your first right exactly it was my first not just yeah yeah it was the first trade I ever got to see and it was like <laughs> amazing yeah uh, which are the boss you really don't like we're like oh, they, those are the worst Oh, right. I, oh, I can think some of those, trust me, like Heroic Juggernaut, screw that guy, <laughs> it, that, that fight sucks, that fight really, really sucks, um, but apart from that, from um, other expansions, I'd say, um, I th I hated, uh, back in the day, I hated, uh, like, Fester Gut and Rot Face, the fight in ICC, I didn't really like that fight, because too much legwork or whatever. <laughs> uh, it's not like I'm a slacker or anything, but still. Um, what else? Um, Trial of the Crusader, uh, the Archangels. That was horrible. Yeah, you didn't like that one? Yeah, no, I didn't. I, w I was always getting too much confused with uh, the buff and the debuff. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was horrible, I know. Um, apart from that, um, I'd also say a uh, Teron Gorfrind. Uh, back in uh, the Burning Crusade, that was pretty awful as well for me. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I just don't like those bosses. Okay, yeah, that's fair enough. And, w and what is yeah. the number one worst boss? Number one worst boss. Um, if I had to choose from the ones I said, I'd say Juggernaut. <laughs> heroic. <laughs> yeah. There it is, Juggernaut Heroic. So guys, if you need help and you're on Juggernaut Heroic, you don't have to ask him because he no, doesn't like no, that one. No, no, please don't. No, <laughs> I've had enough of that game. <laughs> Let's go uh, two more to uh, to uh, the Order of Azeroth. Um, wh what if I say the Order of Azeroth? What's your first thought about it? Um, fun times, actually. Uh, very fun times, and also uh, amazing people. I'd also say, but if I had to pick. First thought that would come into my that would pop in my head would be fun times, definitely. Fun times, cool. Yeah. And when did you join? I joined. I remember this. I joined on the 11th of September 2013. Okay, so oh, so it's almost a year. Almost a year. Three months yeah. now. Yeah. True. Bit less. Yeah. Cool. Nine months in. And yeah, yeah that's that's awesome. And how do you feel about the guild now? This moment. I feel like uh, we're pretty good at this point. Uh, sure, we have our flows. Every every guild has its flows. Um, I think our social part is better than ever, in all honesty. Uh, of course, as it could be uh, with people dropping out of World of Warcraft at the moment because they are too bored of uh, uh, Miss of Pandaria at this point. No one really can blame them for that. Yeah. And I think that we also have uh, a healthy, I would say, progression. Six out of fourteen bosses. Um, On the road. It is not easy. Yeah, heroic, of course. It is not easy, but we get the job done, and we have fun doing it as well. Yeah, that, that's Some really of the discussions important. you can hear in our team speak server is just, you know, <laughs> hilarious to say the least. Yeah, you got a lot of people who drop out, and you have to find new ones. Yeah, uh, especially the last few months. Yeah, that's true that. Yeah. But you know that's that's how WoW works uh, for people. You know you might actually be playing WoW for a year, and then all of a sudden drop it for like another year and just restart it. Yeah, uh, it's always how it goes. But thankfully we're in a big server and we do not have uh, any problems finding people, new recruitments and stuff like that. Yeah, and the, the people who drop out now for a bit uh, also are people who, who will come back. Maybe for Draenor, they they didn't left the guild or something. So yeah, I should hope. I should hope because Warlords of Draenor looks very very promising right now. And you will have yeah. an awesome team then as well if the if the all the oh, people yeah. uh, come back. <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, people coming back that would be awesome. They can yeah. make a star team. Yeah, yeah. that's the plan. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. And you know what? We might actually give Mythic a shot. I mean, it's not like we're a hardcore guild that would that will like rush through content to actually uh, go and do Mythic, but I think we will try Mythic and we, we will see how it goes from there. Yeah, yeah. If, you have to, if you have enough people and they want mm -hmm. to try it as well, then yeah, you mm -hmm. should give it a shot if you uh, yeah. if you killed, uh, what is it, Heroic then, first? Yeah, uh, Mythic, yeah. Yeah, but then it's Heroic first, that's oh, normal now, yeah. right? Uh, yeah, 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 it's Heroic then Mythic, yeah, yeah. true. 
Um, what was your best moment on WoW? In uh, Toa, sorry. In the guild. In the order? Yeah. Uh, oh my. Definitely the first kill we got on Garrosh. Definitely. That is your best uh, Toa moment? Uh, I mean, I have so many other moments. Um, so many laughs in the guild and so many, you know, um, humorous moments on TeamSpeak, but if I was to actually pinpoint a moment where you you also, uh, you could combine fun yeah. with raiding and the guild, I would say that that was the moment, you know. It was, it was pretty awesome for me, and I think from for the, the rest of the team that night. Yeah, I was there as well. I was yeah, there. exactly. It, uh, it was finally the feeling I I miss that feeling a bit, especially mm, the last sure. boss, because we didn't have a lot of last boss uh, moment, uh, current current tier kills. Yeah. <coughs> and Karish and it's Karish, uh, yeah, it, it was it was cool. I didn't have that feeling yeah. with the other bosses, N yeah, not sure. that much as Karish. It was like okay, we we finished the content, the current content, you know, yeah. Mm -hmm. That was yeah. the feeling I had. Yeah, yeah, it was a good moment. And what was your uh, worst moment? That's also worst moment. Yeah. Um, well, um, people leaving, people leaving for, uh, if I may be uh, so bold as to say, for dumb reasons. Uh, it's your interview, you can say what you want. <laughs> hmm? It's your interview, you can say what you want. It's your oh, yes. data. <laughs> Still, yeah, true. Uh, no, but yeah, I think I would say that there was a, a very particular moment in the guild that really, really hurted me. Like... Because I really enjoy um, hanging around with that uh, member of our guild and whatnot, and but she decided to leave, so you know I couldn't do anything about it. Uh, but it's my personal opinion that it was for a very, very dumb reason. So that was very, very disappointing. Yeah. So yeah, I'd say that that would well, that was the worst moment of yeah. the guild for me, at least for my nine months time now here. Yeah. What was your position so, when you started in the I guild? Was, I was a raid recruit. A ra and then? Well, I became a full raider after three, after three weeks, I think. You guys found me worthy. Um, for, those you, for, you, for those of you who don't know, Baji was an officer. Uh, <laughs> yeah. he, he, he's one of the old guards, trust me. He's one of the old guards of the Fe order. Very old. Very old guard, very yeah. Very old, yeah. Uh, I became... So yeah, I became a fully raider after three weeks or so. Um, that was a happy moment as well. Mm -hmm. uh, and then after like six months or so, I became an officer. Um, first, I was like, um, I didn't have any responsibilities as an officer, like the banker or the, la or the, ra or the raid leader or the social officer or anything like that. But after a while, when the whole officer team almost the whole of the officer team changed. I became also a uh, raid leader for our uh, guild. Yeah. So yeah, there's that. Yeah, I always ask this question because it's funny because mm -hmm. you can see that if you come in a guild and you're really commitment to the people and yeah, be awesome. You know, they, you, there's also always a chance you can become one of the officers Absolutely. in a guild. Absolutely. And if you're having fun doing so, it's even better. You know. Yeah. And, and sometimes it's hard. It's hard sometimes. Yeah, true, true. Sometimes. For me, I mean, yeah, go ahead. Me, sorry, yeah. Um, for me, it's also like um, I enjoy playing WoW, and I really, really ten times more enjoyed playing WoW with you guys uh, since I entered the guild. And everyone was very, very nice at me. So, and I am always, I, I want to consider myself being a nice person to everyone else as well. Mm -hmm. So, and I really do try, even if someone's a douchebag i just try to ignore him and be nice to him and you know just keep on going yeah so yeah it wasn't that it wasn't hard for me to actually uh fill in um you guys uh the how should i put this what you guys wanted uh out of an officer i mean because it really came just natural to me just being nice and being just being yourself uh, very very sorry just being yourself just yeah. being myself, exactly. I mean, why would I want to miss like a raid or let you guys wait for a whole hour just because you know I'm just too lazy to get off my bed? No. <laughs> yeah, a raid, a raid is a commitment. Uh, one of the parts of the guild, it's a commitment you make with uh, nine other people, yeah. or twenty-four other people in some occasions. So 
you have to be uh, very very you know persistent with uh, that yeah. So, yeah you have to be strict on that yeah yeah sure it's well it's, it's the same if you do a sport or something and do it in a team sure. you can Absolutely. you can also you can't say well i'm, I'm not in the mood today i don't i'm, I'm mm -hmm. not there mm -hmm. i agree and you know it's, it's the same with uh, being very social in one guild yeah. um you can just like you will be surprised seeing how many people uh that you actually match so well you can find in uh, wow and even though even even if you do not see their faces i mean you know, if you if you prove to be good friends, and after a while, you know, you decide you want to actually know each other in real life, you can do that. But I think think an individual can have very, a lot of fun in wow meeting new people. It's amazing. Yeah. It's very good. So yeah, that's that. Cool. What do you want to tell the people that are in the guild now? Uh, what do you want to say to them? Right now, um, I love you guys. First of all. And second of all, do not slack in rage, please. And what else? I would say just have fun and most of all, enjoy your time in WoW and do not do something if it, it does not please you or whatnot, you know? Um, so, yeah, that's it. Okay. <laughs> what, oh, what I would say to them. Uh, what do you want to tell the people who left the guild? In good harmony, of course. Uh, good luck, most of everything. Uh, whatever do they do? Uh, I hope they are fine in their health. I hope they keep on playing WoW if they so choose. I hope they keep on raiding, mostly, because raiding is awesome. Um, yeah, and if you ever wish to come back, you know that the order is always here for you. And if you want to join us, you should. Spoken like a real officer. Yeah, 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 yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Last question is: okay. What do you want to tell the people who are not in the guild yet? Well met. No, no. <laughs> Come join us. We're fun. We have raiding. We have socials. We have um, Naturai as well. He's a pretty cool guy. He will make you. He's weird, but you know he will make you laugh sometimes. But still, um, what? What would I say to them? Um, well, if well, I it's, your, it's, it's your moment to promote as an yeah, officer. Cool. Join the order now. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Silvermoon, the paradise of the Alliance. <laughs> Only you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it is. It is. It is. It really much is. That's why I came here. <laughs> <laughs> and for not getting ganked all the time. But yeah, I would say that to them that if our paths were to cross and you want to have a good time and you want to eventually raid or do stuff like that you should join us definitely and we'll, we'll take it from there you know where do they have to go to if they want to go come in the guild as a raider um, can you give me a moment to find the link please <laughs> <laughs> i don't remember if i heard oh there we go it's tua um eu.engine.com and or you can just whisper any officer online. But uh, yeah. Cool. I'm sorry, I'm not good at link, sorry. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's yeah. fine. Um do you want to uh, give a shout out to someone? Um or to a few? I'm not picking favorites, you know that. I'm an officer, I can't do that. Oh, okay. Well uh, but this is not your officer, you're now he can. Okay. You know um well, let's see. Um to my raiders I would say that you guys are doing amazing work with progression at the moment and even though we have been slacking uh, for the for the last couple of weeks uh, we will be fine and we will, we will probably do a lot more bosses to come if, if not in this expansion trust me in the next one and I would say to them that you know I'm, I'm very glad of being part of this team and I love being part of this team and thank them for the opportunity that they give to me to actually be uh, the raid leader uh, which is not so enjoyable at some times, but I do enjoy doing it at the end of the day. And to our socials, I would say I hope you have fun in uh, our guild at the moment. If you do not, whisper me <laughs> <laughs> with any problems you might have. And that's pretty much it. Well, yeah. Cool. And I just died. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs>
you know, he can, he's always playing. He's always playing well. Doesn't matter yeah. which situation he is. Yeah. Well, I want to thank you for this interview. And I want to thank you for having me. Yeah, you're welcome. It was an honor to have an officer again in the in the bad stocks with. Speaking. It was an honor speaking to you. Thank you. Cool. So it's I. It's a nice interview. <laughs> a very nice interview you do. Yeah. Yeah, they should and they should listen to this. Yeah. Yeah, I hope so. No. <laughs> yeah. Um. No, what I wanted to point out is that it's pretty cool what you're doing uh, with these interviews, like uh, actually being able to hear the, the stories of our fellow members. That's pretty, pretty cool. And it's something you do not see in other guilds, having so much active a social part of the guild. And yeah, that's it really. Well, thanks. That was a shout out to me. Yeah, and thank you very much. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> who uh, should be okay. your next, who should be the next uh, guest? Next, huh? Yeah. Oh, you're you you're you're away again. Can you hear me? Yeah, now again. Yeah. Okay. I would say that the next um, next person you should interview is Rolla. Oh, you have to convince him then. He doesn't want. To, he he should, doesn't want he, to I think he's a bit shy. He's a bit shy. Yeah, Rolla, I, I think. Yeah. That's a lie right there. He's not shy. He's just lazy. I'll tell him. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah. well, hopefully, we get Rolla soon. And if yeah. there's someone else who wants to do an interview, you can always uh, contact me. That's fine. So, mm -hmm. today we end the show now because we're done. I did all the questions. And uh, again, thanks for uh, joining the show. And I'll see you guys later. Bye bye. See you. Bye.